Hi, everybody. Russ on the West Ham Network. Hope you're all safe and well. If you're new, give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share. Give it a bloody good subscribe. So, as we do on a Friday, and we won, didn't we? We won. We're through to the final, the last 16 of the Europa Conference League. Only was and Villarreal and is it Douche Gardens IF have qualified. So, so far, so far at uh, lunchtime today, I took you through all you need to know about the, the draw. Basically, you'd have to worry about it until like the 26th, of Fe- I think it's the 26th of February, Friday the 26th, is it? Where's, where's my things? Where's my things? Friday, you only have to, uh, where is it? Yep. Friday the 26th, 24th, Friday the 24th of February, you have to worry about. Uh, until then, don't have to worry about it. And the two legs, the, the 9th and the 16th of March. But anyway, we've got Hammers headlines today. Hammers headlines today. And as we always do uh, on the Friday before the match day, we bring you the David Moyes press conference. This will possibly be the shortest David Moyes press conference I think I've ever, I've ever covered. It was very, very short and sweet, just like me. And let's get straight into it. Let's talk about team news. That's the most important thing. You would have seen the thumbnail. You would have seen the video um, intros. There's some key team news. Um, not great team news, let's be honest, um, for our, um, our visits to Old Trafford on Sunday. Um, but in terms of the team news itself, um, there's a bundle. There we go, a bundle of team news. I think I think that's how he explains it. A lot of the clubs are the same. Hopefully, we've come through last night not too bad. Jared, Jared, Jared has done a little bit of running on the grass, so we'll see. Um, there was talk of him of his having an ankle injury for maybe Monday. Paqueta will be unavailable until next week. So uh, the likelihood is you probably won't see Paqueta again until the Crystal Palace game. I'll be surprised if they risked him for the Bucharest game, <coughs> in all honesty. So we know that Paqueta is definitely out on, on a, for the Man United game. Um, but Jared could feature. Um, he was seen. He was seen in the dugout yesterday. Obviously, he wasn't in the squad, but he was in the dugout yesterday. So, um, not too desperate. Obviously, we don't know about the. Um, there wasn't any question, any answers about uh, Dawson. Whether he was back in the again. He was. He was walking around the stadium yesterday. I saw, um, and obviously, never forget making his his debut. Um, so. And Maxwell Corne, no one asked any bloody questions about Corne, or maybe they did in the embargo section. We have two sections of the press, so you have the, sort of the public section and the embargo section. So it could be in the embargo section, they could have asked more specifically about Maxwell Corne. Asked about going back to Old Trafford. Going back to Old Trafford, and, in, and Man United in general, um, he basically said going to Old Trafford for anyone is a really difficult test. We could do with finishing a bit better recently. Yes. This would be his. Would this be his seventieth away game? He hasn't. If we don't win away to the top six or something like that, I had my time to talk about Manchester United a long time ago. I wish anybody their luck. I don't want to speak about anybody there. Mister Moy is getting a bit spicy there, isn't it? Really, um, but yeah. So. I mean, we'll be doing the preview and the watch along and giving you the opportunity to, to pick your 11 if you're subscribed to the channel already. Um, so check that all out. Um, obviously, Man United is one of three Premier League games left for us um, until the World Cup, as well as Blackburn in the Carabao and also Stenar Bucharest in the sort of dead rubber next Thursday. Asked about the games the World Cup, uh, Moisey said, um, where did he say? That's what he said. If we can keep up, um, keep up, and it may be our home form, there it will be good. Some of our defeats away from home, uh, there have been factors for it. Factors in the fact that we're not scoring enough goals and they usually get to the top six. Um, asked about the World Cup in general, um, he did say, you know, I think having the World Cup in the middle of a season has, has the chance to throw up some very strange things. I think we've been, we've seen some teams struggling from the past 60 to 70 games in a season. In the World Cup, the players will have a, a great experience and it'll be fabulous for them. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a strange thing, isn't it? The World Cup in the middle of in the middle of the <laughs> season. But as you said, usually it's at the end of the season. So you imagine a lot of the players will be fresher. So it should be the quality of football should be quite good. Um, and the likes of Nefer Gred, you know, he'll probably won't feature. I imagine he'll probably be in the bench maybe for the sun, for Sunday. He'll probably feature again for the Bucharest game. Maybe feature for Palace. Maybe definitely feature from Blackburn, maybe. He's going to get three or four games under his belt before the World Cup. 
Um, obviously, the likes of Scott Macca won't be in the World Cup because Italy didn't qualify. Bowen's injury will that curtail his potential? Um, you know, spot on the plane to Qatar. We don't know. We don't know. And that was it. That was literally all that was mentioned. There's about half a dozen questions. It was a really, really short press conference. Um, and as I said, we bring it to you as always. Check out what we have like coming on later on tonight. We've got uh, we should have the late late show of Irish Tommy on tonight. Where you can come on and have a good old natter after you come back from the pub. Um, we'll have Holly's tweet all about it. Show will be out this weekend. We'll also have all the previews, all the reviews, all the watch alongs for the Man United game. And that's it, my friends. So take care, everyone. Stay safe. Stay warm. Stay healthy. Keep taking those vitamin C tablets. Got a terrible cold. Thanks for asking. Uh, if you're new out here, I said give it a like, give it a comment, give it a share, give it a subscribe. Maybe become a channel member, and I'll see you this weekend. If you if you watch if you're watching what we're talking, well, if you're watching what we're doing, um, I'll see you this weekend. So take care, everyone. Stay safe. Bye bye. <laughs>